I was introduced to Alex shortly after young Jesse was born, and at the time Ben had given him the nickname Dad. So for about a year I didn't actually know his real name. <laughs> When I met Meg, she wasn't immediately turned off by uh, jokes and topics of the conversation, which was a winner in my books. Um, <laughs> and I've always been of the opinion that you should marry someone who you're not afraid to express your very eclectic interests and perhaps even share them with, or at least tolerate them. Our sisterhood is filled with laughter, joy, freedom, but unwavering love and support. You leave me better than you found me every single day. Truthfully, you leave everyone in this space better than your partner. <laughs> I've always been so protective of my sister, so the day she told me about Alex, my first thought was that no one would ever be good enough for it. Yet Alex has spent every day showing me just how wrong I was. He's always patient with her and he's dedicated to loving her better than the day he did before. So today I can stand here and say that I'm honoured to call you my family. I don't think I've ever, ever got to say this to you Alex, but thank you. Thank you for taking my best friend who is probably one of the most unique, gifted, talented, brilliant minded people I know and loving her for who she is. I knew many years ago that this day was actually going to happen. The way you and Alex look at each other, the way you talk to each other, the way you treat each other. Um, a lot of people in the world will come to that. So, Al, thank you so much for being the person to take her off my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
How grumpy. <laughs> I've always known that in you, I have a home, a family, and a safe haven, a man to build and share a life with. And for that, I make this vow to stand by you always, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. I will love and cherish you all the days of my life. I go like a marsh to London. I guess my heart is lonely. So Alex and Meg, you have shared with each other your love and commitment, and you've now joined your lives together before your family and your closest friends. So everyone, it is now with great joy that I can pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss. Give a really big warm welcome of applause to the newly wedded couple, Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Meg Clover. And that is the new Mr. and Mrs. Lowe signing off.